My son wants to switch to percussion from clarinet because he doesn't like being the only boy playing clarinet, even though my favorite clarinet player is Artie Shaw. The band director will not let him without knowing how to play mallets. The people that do not know piano fall behind in percussion, not understand piano because mallets are just two finger versions of piano and then becomes three and four finger versions of piano. He needs some way to practice and he doesn't really have a, a chance to practice and understand the instrument. I don't have a vibraphone. It's a massive instrument, big and heavy and a pain. So I came up with an idea using two by fours and building a practice marimba that I could use to practice for mallet technique to go back and forth because you really need to practice and feel what the bounce is. So I came up with a way, even though I know two by fours do not respond the way a bar would respond, but if I put enough play in the string, it should, and it should kind of feel like it has that give. So when you play the mallet, so the idea I'm absolutely coming up with now is how to do it. And I've been drawing this thing out and trying to figure out exactly the spacing and how, how can I do this? and not have an open vibraphone, everything's flat. You don't have to go up and down on your keys. It's, it's flat, it's wonderful. So this thing's gonna be exactly that. But I figured out my spacing with a two by four flip sideways, how to drill the holes, and then I've come up with how to mount the plates to be able to, to support the top row. And that plate is also gonna end up supporting the bottom row. So the two plates are gonna make it all work with a piece of metal. That's the size of what kind of anything under, you know, three and a half inches for a two by four is. I'm sitting here putting it all together and here we go. C, C sharp. So go to F and I've done these in two sizes. I've actually done it to where these are seven inches and these are three and a half because pretty much when you're hitting the bar, you hit a little off to me. This will end up taking up 28 inches to build and I'll, I'm gonna have this together tomorrow. So I'll probably try to put this whole thing together. So I just pulled in Home Depot, get these materials and in my head, I've drawn this out and I know what I'm gonna put together, but I've gotta kind of find the products here. To, I've thought about it so much about how am I gonna hang this on a wall so he can stand and play this and the strings would work. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna roll it out on his bed, which is the right height. You'd practice on the bed and his comforter will add enough bounce to it to kind of feel the give of the bar. And I think that'll be practice time. But I don't think I'm going to mount it to a wall. Let's find some stuff inside.